talking today to Jonah Fink, who is the Senior Vice President of Nectophone. Jonah, you recently signed a deal with iBurst. Describe what that's for. No, so iBurst is a leading internet service provider in South Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. And they had a need, uh, like many ISPs in the region, to offer value-added services as a bundle to their core data service offering today. iBurst turned to us to private label and customize a fully complete uh, voice over IP solution for their subscriber base. And essentially the service um, which you're, you're offering more widely it enables ISPs to add voice to their bundle. You know, that's the key word that we're, that we're hearing from Sapcom is, is tell me more, uh, educate me more about value added services and that's the key word bundle. Uh, many of these ISPs have an impressive database of subscribers. By them to be able to be able to push down within their channel or network, uh, voice solution is really the pure complement uh, to their core data offering today. And are you doing um, business with ISPs outside of South Africa? ISPs um, all across uh, you know, South Africa, uh, East Africa, West Africa, and even North Africa uh, is expressing interest for Netophone. Uh, they know Netophone for years now as a leader in the retail voice over IP space. And they're asking, and they're they're asking, you know, do it for us. Tell us how you did it, and we want to become, you know, the Netophone provider in our market. And so, what has changed? Because in in the previous years, you, you, there would be lots of kind of VoIP resellers and so on and so forth. But what's changed that's made it easier to do this? I think that because you know, six, seven, eight years ago, ten years ago in Africa, I think voice over IP was still a little bit of a pipe dream. Today, voice over IP is a reality. You know, uh, there was a, an important statistic that Skype now owns. Uh, 25% of the global uh, worldwide traffic. I think ISPs, even mobile operators and telecom operators are facing the facts. Uh, they're looking to embrace voice over IP instead of fighting voice over IP. They understand that voice over IP at the end of the day will increase their ARPU, their average revenue per user, and really uh, will create stickiness uh, as an offer, uh, again, running along their core data offering to them. And for the customers of the ISP, what's the price of the phone calls? Give me some examples of typical destinations per minute. That's a great question. So when the CEO reached out to us uh, from iBurst, Tammy Michelli, uh, he basically said to us, you know, Jonah, build for me a global universal calling plan, one month, one price, fixed fee. We created a plan for him, you know, $49.99, unlimited calling to South Africa, China, India, Belgium, Brazil, Portugal, the list goes on and on. We create a fully loaded universal calling plan that also includes an international virtual number as well. Uh, so that uh, iBurst is also launching with our solutions in uh, the DRC. Uh, and in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we know that their number one trading partner is with Belgium. You know, the CEO mentioned to me, built for me a plan which includes Belgium and also includes the Belgium phone number as well. It's all about customization and it's really taking out the paintbrush, listening to the needs of each ISP and their core market. And so for the $15 a month, essentially you're getting free calling in all directions. So for the $49.99 a month, yeah. it's unlimited calling to many of these destinations yeah. and also unlimited inbound calling as well. Okay, so you don't have to have a number in order to be able to call these numbers. You, you, you can break out into the... You know, it, this, is, this is the beauty of the voice over IP enabling that we're in. Let's work backwards. You, Mr. ISP, you tell us what you need. Tell us about your market. Tell us about the, the diaspora market within your country. Tell us about the corridors. Uh, we're in some negotiations right now with some providers in Angola. And in Angola, they say their number one trading partners is with Portugal and Brazil. Build for me a plan that carries Portugal, Brazil with those virtual numbers as well. And what size of um what volume of minutes do you think you'll be doing into Africa in a year's time? It's all about the origination you know, from Africa to the world. The African diaspora communities are growing and growing. Uh, we expect that this is the, the monthly, we're in the subscriber space, we expect that the monthly subscriber plans that are sold through our ISP partners in the region should be upward of 20 to 30 to 40, 50,000 subscribers after the next fiscal year. Jonas, thanks for talking to me today. Pleasure is mine.